good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another fun fast tinkercad tutorial so let's get cracking friends today we are going to learn how to make a molecule let's start by creating a new 3d design let's start by visiting google type in molecule switch into images and then looking at some structures so you can see we have spheres we've got pipes we've got colors let's take one of these and let's actually model one in tinkercad I'm going to name mine H2O and I'm going to put molecule here just so I can track it down later. And then friends, we need to build with shapes. The shape I'm going to tell you I want to use is the sphere. I'm going to pick the color. Why not use red? Just like the picture. Once again, going back to the picture, this would be the oxygen in that little simulation. If I return to my project, bingo. Now I want to connect it to two hydrogen atoms. Well, I don't want to lose track that this is the oxygen so I'm gonna add a note and of course I'm gonna label it with oxygen now the second one I need is hydrogen I'm gonna just do the letter N and put a note out here and let's type hydrogen and then minimize I'm going to use the same sphere I'm gonna do control D to duplicate it I'm gonna do shift to shrink it just for fun I'm gonna make it a different color I'm gonna go with yellow I got my label moved beside it and now I'm going to do control D so I have two of those you can do shift in the arrow keys to nudge it faster I want it to be perfectly aligned so I'm going to take these two and do control G to group them notice they are now one piece and I can grab everything hit the letter L for align and then bingo the red ones in the middle I'm going to use this cone to lift it up you can also do control up it doesn't need to be lifted up I just think that looks cool and now I'm going to connect them with the cylinder when I bring it out I want it to be round so I'm gonna slide the sides to 64 I am going to shift stretch it to crazyville and then I'm gonna tell you my number I want is size 3 I think when you look at it that's a pretty neat size if you hit F you can zoom all the way in we want to change the height I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna type the number 25 here and then I can stretch it more if I need so my friends now it is time to connect this now when we connect it it's going to be kind of hard to rotate so i'm going to put this in the middle and i'm just going to tilt it to about 60 degrees i'm just guessing check now i can adjust this few degrees notice if you stay inside it snaps 22 and a half degrees at a time if you come outside then it goes one degree at a time i think that looks pretty good but i want it to stretch out a little further to do that you need to make the face match so we're going to use work plane and I'm going to connect it to the end of my cylinder and now I can stretch it out using that middle handle make sure you can move so you can see it and bingo it stretches right where I want I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground this time I use W which is the shortcut for work plane and I can nudge this into place I'm going to go over and then I'm going to do control up to raise it up I want one on the other side as well so I'm going to do control D shift nudge and then friends this little guy right here is called mirror boom it snaps in place and you should be able to just nudge it where you want how cool is that just for fun i'm going to change the color of those i like to show you that when you go to your colors you can do custom colors i'm going to put a funky green out there and then i want to copy that color to the other side so i'm going to do control c on the hex code move over to the orange one and do control v to paste it in place press enter and boom my colors are in i think i want these green ones to come up just a little bit so right now i'm going to select under the red so i can just do control up and raise those to the location i want let's double check my notes i have got the oxygen i have got a hydrogen and just to be thorough let's press n for note and let's put hydrogen over here i'm going to quickly tap home we're looking at it from the middle i want to put a nice sign up here real quick so i'm going to add a piece of text let's put h to o I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to show you another cool trick. If we hold shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time. I can do D for drop, so that way it's at zero. And then I can raise it above with the cone, or once again, we can do control up, control down to get it exactly where we want. I do want it aligned, so I'm going to do shift select. Another cool trick for you. Pick the middle one as the master, and bingo, 
I have made my awesome molecule. If you want to hide the notes, you can do that. If you want to bring them back, you can do that. I'm going to do a final step of hiding the grid. And then friends, as we make this project permanent, I want to show you how to also make it public. Whenever you finish something in Tinkercad, if you click on the properties, this will be the molecule tutorial. As you can see, I've got coming soon because I'm still making the tutorial. Down here, we'll put some tags. Remember, friends, if you ever tag something you create with HLMT23 and press enter, I search those each day to see what cool things you're creating and, of course, give you a reaction. Finally, I make the design public and then I always choose no derivatives because, of course, I want you to come up and follow the tutorial when you're done I hit save changes and BAM people can give reactions to your amazing creation friends as I wrap up let me remind you about my website hlmodtech.com I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories and then right below it the first day lessons these are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad friends I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging you can click that button add your question comment or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.